As much as I'd like to say that 2023 has been the most eventful year for me, but not for the things I really wanted to do. And due to the circumstances that prevented me from really traveling to the places that I wanted to head out to, I instead spend a majority of my time mostly catching up on my dues and other life responsibilities that had prevented me from really giving me the time to dedicate on other ventures that has nothing to do with websites like Omega. Even though it has been one of my primary sources of content, mostly on the live streaming side of things, as well as making only a few documentaries that I have been able to produce. But again, due to how limited my time was, I can only make what is possible for me and work on other things on the side that I don't yet have the skills or the special to really delve into some more. And even though I may have a sizable audience within the thousands, it is nowhere close to being sustainable enough to do it full time. And surely I could probably sell my soul to the devil and known as the algorithm and pump out a bunch of clips of my encounters just like what every other content creator had made. But due to the nature and the way I do things, I decided to go against it and focus more on making content that really matters to me the most. So anyways, here are some of the highlights that I wanted to talk about. From the good, the bad, and everything in between. So let's start with this. Earlier, I've released my first video on a horrible person that actively goes out of his way to harass anyone he comes across on Omega with evidence and multiple recordings by different individuals that had submitted their clips to me. And although I have been able to put everything together and have it released on time, there have been other clips after the release of that video that I have not been able to put in as I was taking a break from creating that video while it gained traction. And some have even came forth about their encounters on him. And although they claim they came across him with evidence, I never received anything else. And some outright disappeared and is never heard from again. So either they don't know how to submit their evidence or they were potentially lying about it. It's kind of hard to tell. So whatever evidence I have left over here after the release of that video, I will consider releasing it on a completely separate section of a singular video about Omega in the form of a documentary in which is going to take a lot of time, effort, and funding to produce as there has been so much that happened on Omega that could have been on separate videos. So instead, I'll just have everything under one singular documentary. Everything from the history, the technical side of things, the people that have populated the site, and those that have contributed to its popularity and its downfall, plus more, making it one of my most detailed and perhaps the most comprehensive of all time, as well as my final Omega related video. Once I figure out a better way to put everything together, learning some new programs in order to make my workflow a little better with newer editing techniques that I would like to work on some more, but then figuring out how to balance between learning a new program and doing other things and other projects while you're at it is something that I'm still trying to figure out, but more on that when I get down to it. And another quick story on how I found out about a certain event that I decided to visit in my own hometown that I didn't know about up until I met someone within the Ubo tags in where I found out about it and even decided to go there three months after I met that individual to explore the event with 
my Discord video chat, which that was something that I've done for the first time, checking out the Missouri event. But unfortunately, I never really got to meet the individual or even know who that person is, or I probably showed up at a later time where I didn't even see that person. There's a good chance she was there, but I never noticed it, or she never noticed me, but... But then, she never provided me with any kind of contact. No Discord, no, no nothing, to let her know that I'm going to be there. But other than that, I've enjoyed my time there with my chat on Discord. And after that, made a few rounds and check out some other venues, and then, when it's time to go, I decided to leave, do my grocery shopping while getting lost on my way there and finding myself back home to live stream about it while Omega was still around and continued on like I normally do. Another thing that I wanted to delve more into is the advent of artificial intelligence and how the technology is being utilized to create things with the help of text prompts and even saw the rise of AI generated content while it has been slowly making its way on everything else down to the point that it could potentially replace blue collar work as well as white colored jobs at the rate it's going. But the problem with some of these AIs that are available right now is they are often behind a paywall and even locked down with limitations and safeguards, quote unquote, in order to prevent anyone to truly utilize. And so I decided to look for other alternatives that I can use to create my own AI model locally without relying on a service and even create my own AI model from the ground up and specialize it for my need. So hopefully I'll be able to work more on it as I do have plans to create my own AI assistant, starting by creating my own AI engine that can power everything else on my system. And perhaps maybe I'll be able to work more on VR technology alongside with AI and even building my own VR worlds once I get myself a headset that I also plan to build from the ground up with available parts that I can get a hold of, or at least I'll make an attempt to do so before I give up and ended up buying an existing headset made by somebody else. Because I do have plans to create content revolving around VR, AR, mixed reality, AI, and a bit of my personal flair to it. and would like to use it all on a portable device that I can carry around with me as I would like to travel more while working with VR, XR, and AI along the way while live streaming it if I could figure out how to utilize all that together in a way that it's feasible. So again, still trying to figure out how to make it all work together. There's a good chance I'm probably going to get some help while I'm at it. Now that aside, I've also had some individuals that have told me about their personal struggles and those that are struggling with their lives. And I had to be the one to sit down and take the time to listen to what they have to say. But then there is only so much I can do until they have to seek help themselves or make the decision to get out of that situation they're in. I've even had an individual who had admitted to wanting to do self-harm in the last minute to the point that I was very disturbed on what I have witnessed down to the point to where I had to figure out where this person is at and even ask somebody to know of his whereabouts. Fortunately, someone did intervene to stop him from doing this to his own life. But unfortunately, this individual no longer wants to speak to me anymore because of this. But then, why should you even talk about doing this to yourself, even if you think your life is hopeless? But again, if you are in a situation like this just because everything is going downhill for you, everyone despises you, you probably even have some personal family problems, doesn't mean that you have to take your own life 
because of it, but seriously, do seek professional help or leave that situation because I'm sure there is a way out, even if you don't believe that there is. I've also had lost some people in my life that I may never hear from ever again, and I really hope that they are in a better place now. I don't expect to hear from them anytime soon, but a lot of the times I get surprises and the next thing you know, I get new information about their whereabouts in which it had happened before. And I guess in a way, knowing about it gives closure to some questions one might have, if any. So anyways, I think I said whatever needed to be said here. And as much as there's a lot of other things I could be talking about, I will have to leave that for another video or live stream. And hopefully my plans will come into fruition and I'll be able to get some stuff released out there as well as traveling to meet individuals who I've wanted to see in person. I'll continue updating for the coming new year or however long I'm able to do this for. And special thanks to those who pledged, donated, and contributed to making this whole venture possible and for those who volunteered to provide the contents and even those who came along to support me with whatever they have. And I do thank you guys for keeping me around to continue entertaining and informing with my content and my personality. And I hope continue on for however long I'm able and not let anyone who wants to do me harm bring me down, which I do suspect that there will be those that do, but will continue fighting on and doing what I do best. Till then, this is LR7, closing down a chapter and starting a new one and logging out. How the f did you even get on here? What the? F <laughs>